Hi. Hi. So you've just received your new 9CI Wise phone and might be wondering where to begin. This is especially true, I bet, if you've never used an Android phone before. Uh, so to help with the initial learning process, uh, stick around to watch this short video. Uh, the next video, part two of this, will show you how to transfer your contacts and other data from your previous Apple or Google, what we call tracking phone. To power on the phone, press and hold the button until the screen turns on. Notice the Lineage boot logo? This is the operating system that is installed on your Wise phone. Like all touchscreen devices, an application is easy with a few familiar swipes. To move an icon, press and hold for a second, then drag it to your desired location. Note that you can have icons on the lower section of the screen, sometimes referred to as the dock. Now before moving your SIM card from your previous phone, we're suggesting that you get familiar with the WISE phone by connecting it to your local Wi-Fi first. Uh, this is especially true, once again, if you're coming from using an Apple iPhone before and have no experience with Android phones. Uh, so to connect to your local Wi-Fi, tap the settings icon here, network and internet, then tap the Wi-Fi and enable button, and you'll see the available networks. And then tap on the desired network and enter its password to connect. Now that you're connected, you can use the DuckDuckGo browser for internet, or browse through the F-Droid store to see all the privacy safe apps available for this phone. F-Droid is the de-Googled phone world equivalent of the Google Play Store, but again, the apps in F-Droid must still meet the privacy criteria before they are listed. Uh, let's install a weather app called Forecasty. In F-Droid, tap the search button, then type Forecasty. Tap search results, then install. Uh, then open. You can change the displayed forecast location by tapping the search icon here, then entering your desired city. At this point, you can also add a few important contacts manually by tapping the contacts icon and tapping the plus icon. Uh, your contacts can be imported also from a VCF file by tapping the menu icon here, settings, and then this import button. At this point, you can take a few minutes, a few days, or even a few weeks to play with your new wise phone before you feel comfortable enough to move your SIM card over from your previous tracking phone. And uh, before moving your SIM card over, uh, it's important to check with your cellular network provider if you have data with your plan. In most countries of the world, this is usually enabled with plenty of capacity, but here in Canada, which is one of the most expensive countries in the world to own a cell phone, believe it or not, Data plans are available, of course, but they are pricey. Uh, most carriers in Canada still offer useless plans that allow up to one gigabyte of data per month, or even plans listed for a few hundred megabytes per month on their option list. Hilarious. Also, before moving your SIM, we suggest that you enable a pin lock on your phone. This is done in Settings, Security, and then Screen Lock. Okay, so to remove your SIM, power off both phones first, and then carefully remove and reinstall the SIM card to the WISE phone. Note that you might need to remove the SIM size adapter. For example, the G3 phone uses a micro-sized socket, but the A5 uses a more modern, smaller, nano-sized socket. In both cases, the SIM holder tray will clearly fit only one size. With the SIM installed on your WISE phone, power it on. Once it's booted, check that you have functioning data by visiting a website with the DuckDuckGo browser. Next, check that the SMS text messaging is working by sending a text message to a contact, hopefully someone you like, and have them reply. <laughs> And finally, make your first phone call using your new WISE phone!
Now you're all set to enjoy a phone that does what it's supposed to do, like make and receive calls, text messages, and have basic internet access. You can install any Android app, including Instagram, Gmail, or Facebook, Twitter, FaceTwit, whatever, if that's desired. But then with those apps on this phone, there's no point to you using a wise phone. I like to think about what I really need on the phone. Um, you can also think about how much time you want to spend using your phone. For internet intensive applications, small phones like this are inefficient and take up far more of your time than simply using a laptop or desktop computer where you are at home. Also, be aware of which apps you want to allow location access to. Unless you're running a map application for GPS location or driving navigation, there's no need to have any other app use your current location, is there? Mm -hmm. Something to think about. If your desired app is not listed on F-Droid, be open to alternatives that are similar with functionality. You can choose to manually install your desired app's APK directly from a third-party site, like APK Pure, but be careful to check that what services are required for the app to be able to run. We hope this video was helpful for you. Um, again, as we said earlier, in part two of this video series, we'll talk about how to transfer data from your previous phone and address other questions from some of our new users. Thanks for watching. Thank you.